In the daily life, uh, I drive much slower and much more casual than I do on the racetrack. I have a lot of kilometers to run during the year from uh, each race, uh, especially now in these times where you don't fly so much as uh, we used to do. So yeah, I try to, to take it relaxed and uh, quite easy. Obviously, when you're, when you're young, it's a big, uh, big part of freedom and, and uh, it gives you so much flexibility when you get your driver's license for the first time. So, of course, there was a lot to learn in the beginning, but uh, you gather experience and then you drive more sensible, I think. In racing, uh, from the beginning, it's a, it's a different thing. It's uh, not comparable to driving on the road. In, in racing, you, you always push to the limit. You always try to go a little bit further than the limit, even and see what happens and correct it um, and stay on track, but uh, uh, it's completely different. Well, obviously, because I was racing at a very young age already, when I made the driver's license, it did have a big effect on my road driving skills because I was already a pretty good driver once I first sat with my tutor for learning how to drive. It was mainly uh, about uh, the environment on the road. I have driven the street version of my race car, which is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It's a lot of fun on the, on the normal road as well, but obviously the, the race car is even better. My advice for every day driver would be yeah, to just uh, stay relaxed, uh, stay safe. And when it starts to rain, it's not the same grip level like it when it's dry. The tire is the most important uh, part of the car, basically, because it connects uh, the car with the, with the road. And uh, for us in racing, it's really important to understand the tire well, to have the right tire pressure, the right temperature, to use it in the right way and uh, on the road. So, um, yeah, in the end, it's, it's very important.